Today, we're going to be calibrating new probes for the GHO Proflux 4. What's up everyone? I just wanted to put together a quick tutorial on how to calibrate your GHO probes. So hopefully putting this together for someone will answer any questions that any some of you may have and the video I'm planning to calibrate probes in two ways the first way I'll be calibrating it is going to be using the GHL connect app and then I'm also going to be calibrating it as well from a computer via the local dashboard I had to order some new probes for mine so the probes that I'm going to be calibrating and working on today is we'll be installing a new pH probe and then I also have to uh, install a new Solidity probe as well. And I just want to give a quick shout out to GHL because they really go out of their way when it comes to packaging. I mean, the packaging on this is just phenomenal. So kudos to you, GHL. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on getting the new probe lines ran and get the new probes installed. Maybe a little difficult to see. But the way my uh, probes are in, I've got these wire management clips in my controller board. So I have everything that runs up through here and then to pull the rest of it out, I'm gonna have to open up this door and then I'm gonna end up working the rest of it out to pull it out from the sump over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on pause here and get these hooked up and then we'll work on calibration. 2,000 years later. Let's start off by calibrating the pH probe via the local web interface. So I've already went and grabbed some RODI water so I could rinse off the probe in between using both solutions. And I've also got my solutions been sitting in the water for the last few hours so they could be up to the temperature. From the local dashboard, I am going to select my pH probe via the sensors area. Once that loads, we will scroll down to calibrate electrode. You are about to begin the calibration process of the pH sensor to continue. Press next. All right, it wants us to select our low pH value, which is seven. Our high pH value will be nine. We'll leave this at the default value of two because this is a brand new probe. It wants us to dip the sensor into the seven solution. So what I like to do here is I'll take it out of my water. I'll rinse this off in some RO water, give that a quick dry. And my seven solution is right here. We'll go ahead and dip the probe in and we'll click next. All right, the calibration is in progress. And this will probably take a couple minutes for it to complete. All right, time for step two of the calibration. We'll remove this from the seven. I'll clean this off in some RO water. Give this a quick dry and we'll dip this into the nine solution. Click next. Calibration of the probe is complete. Click save. We'll take our probe out of the solution. Put that back into our hole. Let's begin the calibration process of the salinity probe via the GHL Connect app. I am going to select my device. Once the dashboard loads, we will select our conductivity probe. We will scroll down and select calibrate electrode. You are about to begin the calibration process for the conductivity sensor. We recommend you float the calibration bottle in the aquarium water. All right, we have already done that, so we'll click next. That is the solution value we are using. This is a brand new sensor, so we'll leave this at the default value of two. Click next. All right, so it wants us to hold the sensor in the air for the first step. And we'll click next. I'm just gonna give this a tap to make sure I can get any excess water off that might still be on the probe. Okay, that part completed. Now it wants us to put the probe in, in the calibration solution and we'll click next. All right, calibration complete. Click save. We'll remove this from the calibration solution. I'm gonna give this a little quick rinse in RO water and we'll get this put back into our probe. That's it guys, calibration's now complete. You can always go back and check the accuracy of the probe once it's calibrated by dipping it back into the calibration solution and making sure the value matches pretty close to 
what the calibration solution is supposed to be. So if this video helped you out, please go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. And until the next one, guys, I'm out. Peace. Thank you.